So, it's a nice snowy day here at the bakery. And going by with their snow plows. It was a bit windy. What I wanted to do is just a very short video to explain wind shake. You probably have heard that term if you've looked at any kind of oh, video of uh, somebody building with logs and whatnot. One of my favorites is uh, Samson Boat Boatworks, and he's a young fellow that's building, rebuilding uh, an old sailboat called the Tally Ho. You should check that out. That guy. For how young he is, really knows his shit. So don't forget to uh, check out Samson Boatworks uh, and support him if you can, because uh, he's doing an absolutely fabulous job. Now he's getting all sorts of different kinds of wood in to uh, rebuild the boat, and he talks about wind shake, and he's always looking for it in the lumber that he's purchasing. But he and, you know, all the other pe people that I've uh, been watching uh, with regards to wood don't really explain what windshake really means. Uh, you'll see uh, images of, you know, cracks in the wood. Uh, but here's, here's what it is. All right, so this is a, this is a piece of maple. Right? And if you look closely, the rings are really tight together, and it's a nice, solid piece of hardwood. Now, pretty much every kind of wood is subject to wind shake, uh, but maple not really so much. Uh, on the other hand, you have this, which is hemlock. And I think it's pretty obvious uh, where uh, a problem might be with this piece of wood. Uh, and hemlock is really quite nice uh, for a softwood. Um, it's quite sturdy, uh, makes great firewood. Uh, it takes a long time to dry though. But here's the problem, all right? So I've cut across the log and you're gonna see there's all sorts of rings here, but right here there's a dark spot, all right? And this is wind shake. Now what it is is actually the divisions between rings has broken free. Right? So there's a hole in here where you know this side isn't connected to this side. And there's other spots in here that are loose as well. And there's another there's another piece here and there's that channel there and then actually deeper in that's broken loose too. So, what is it? What causes it? Well, hemlock in particular is prone to wind shake. So you look at the, up at the trees and the wind's blowing and the tree is twisting this way, swinging this way, and really, you know, it's a giant lever stuck up in the air with branches and leaves to catch the wind, so there's a heck of a lot of force on that trunk as it's swinging in the wind and twisting. And with that twisting, you get these where the wood breaks apart from inside. Now, there's a couple of problems with this. So one is uh, this is no longer good for uh, dimensional wood or construction wood of any kind, uh, you know, it's broken. Uh, the other real problem, although it can be an advantage too, is because there's this thin crack here, and I always say to go with this with the, with the screwdriver, um, water wicks up in that little, that very, very narrow channel, and it can wick up quite a lot of ways and with the water uh, going in between the layers and sitting there, it rots. So you get the center of the tree rotting out, uh, even though it looks like it's uh, reasonably uh, solid just looking at it from the outside. Now the advantage to that, because hemlock is so prone to this, uh, 
you'll get uh, a nice size log and the whole, the whole ring will break free. And what folks uh, discovered uh, a long time ago is they could cut a log up 10, 15, 20 feet long and actually punch the center of the uh, log out and use it as a culvert. And even now you're going to see, uh, probably have people discover uh, hemlock culverts in the ground from 100 years ago, still in use. Uh, you bury it, you keep the uh, oxygen away from it, uh, you have water running through it all the, t all the time, the wood stays uh, pretty solid and useful for a long, long time. Uh, so, that is windshake. Hopefully that helps.